Hello, welcome back. I'm Tim, G4EOA. Hope you saw the first part of the uh, video when we were talking about this beautiful old Marconi Marine Apollo receiver, which I've been busy restoring. I thought I'd tell you a bit more about it today. Actually, last time we looked at the outside of it, we talked about the various tuning controls of two separate oscillators, high stability and general purpose. So today I think it's time to do something a bit better than that and lift off the lid and have a look inside. But before we do that, here's a little trick of the trade. A few little pieces of hardboard, just lay them down in front of the set, because when we pull this from the, the rack, the last thing we want to do is to leave a great big gouge mark across the table. Normally this would be in my amateur shack, but today uh, we've got it down here to do this little series of introductions. So held in by four screws, I've already removed those, and the whole thing slides out of the rack beautifully. Uh, at the moment it's on, so it might be prudent to just... Well, a bit of 80 meter traffic there. Just knock that off. And we'll pull the unit and it comes down here. Now, the big disadvantage of this, there we are, is that it's heavy. So, just to say, first thing we've got to do, and you'll note, is when you have a closer look in a mo, is that it's covered in screening plates. So we'll take the screening plates off, have a look inside, and then I'll talk a little bit about some of the circuit boards. But my last tip before we just take it apart is, and it's not an advert for Batoli, always have a pot to put the screws in. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the, the, the set out of the, the case, and it's a question of taking off the screening plates now. These old sets have fantastic screening, one of the reasons why they weigh so much. And uh, it's a uh, little time consuming to take all these screws off, but we'll do it right now. Okay, well, actually this is a really interesting part of the receiver. It's digitally, uh, there's a digital readout which relies on Nixie tubes and if you can remember these things, they look like hot valves, but in fact they're cold cathode devices. And then if you look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boards which comprise the counter. And I've got a couple of spare boards with me to save pulling them. Now it shows um, the actual uh, dated logic, if I can put it like that. Um, and yet this was absolutely at the top notch of development when it was first made. So as I said, these boards comprise the counter. The, these are the display boards with the Nixie tubes on the end. There's the time-based board which generates the pulses uh, which are counted. And of course, there's also the resetting that has to go on as well. And that board right up at the end is, is responsible for reset. The, the counter, although the, or I should say the display shows the frequency to which we're listening, but of course the counter actually counts the local oscillator output and then makes an adjustment for the selected IF at the time. So it's actually quite a, a, a good bit of trickery really. So this is one of the, the interesting parts. Of, there's a, a connect, interconnecting motherboard right down at the bottom which does its uh, 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 links all the boards together and some extensive circuit diagrams in the manual about this all of which go in, it's rather fun actually, go in at great length to how individual AND gates work with diodes and transistors, something we would never consider now. We'd just do a unit replacement. I did look up some of the chips. They're still available, believe it or not, from specialist suppliers via eBay. So that was a whistle-stop tour of the, the counter. There's those spare boards I showed you in a little bit more detail. Look at the number of diodes on that. Oh, good Lord. Anyway, hope that was interesting. We'll gradually work our way around the receiver. So I look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meantime, this is Tim, G4EOA, saying see you next time. Bye.